I don't know why I did that to my intro. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of F122 Career Mode. We're in episode 18, I think, uh, for the Canadian Grand Prix here at Montreal. And this is historically a track that I've always done well at. However, this game, I seem to be struggling with it a little bit more than what I normally do. Oh, I don't normally struggle, actually, would be the answer. So, I don't know how this one's going to go. But we look like we're going to have mixed weather conditions as well. It looks like it's going to rain midway through the race. So, there's a little bit that could happen. Interesting see how it goes. I don't know what the strategy is going to be like. I imagine it's going to involve the hard tyres at some point. Let's look at the start in grid. Perez gets pole. Amazing. There's a Red Bull 1-2, followed by a Ferrari 3-4. Oh, Norris has got himself into sixth. Oh, McLaren's looking good. So Alpine row five. No surprises. I don't know if there are any penalties. I qualified 18th. Um, right behind Vettel and right in front of Stroll. We, we're not... The Williams isn't that brilliant around here. and Maybe that's why I'm struggling a little bit more. I don't have that much confidence uh, when I'm pushing it. But I'm hoping that this race goes relatively okay. Russell obviously leading the championship which I find to be hysterical considering everybody else has got a quicker car than Mercedes but there we are. It's a nice close championship fight. There I am looking at something on the on the iPad. Don't know what I'm doing. Other tablets are available. Especially Android. But I don't know how this one is going to play out. Medium compound to start with. And then potentially onto the hards for 20 laps. We've got a lot of fuel, so I'd take quite a lot of that out. Take a lap of it out anyway. Can we push the medium tyres a little bit longer? We can, but it won't make much of a difference. Let's have a look what the rest of the grid are doing. So the front, the leading four drivers are on hard tyres. Stroll's on the soft is interesting um, and everybody else is on the medium compound now if we were to switch this round let's have a look at the medium compound they're supposed to last they can last 19 laps hmm if we switch that so we had a stink because this game doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Remove that stint. It won't let me. So if I start on the hards, remove that stint. We go 20 laps on the hard. Let's say we push it to 22. Puts us on the cusp of the... I don't think one stop's going to work onto the and we don't I don't know if it's actually gonna rain. Oh, funnily enough though, the alternate strategy is only six seconds slower than than the other the other options that are available. I could do hard it's saying I could do hards all the way. Do I gamble on that? Do I gamble on the hard tyre, have just a lonely race until the pit stops? And then hope that 26 laps on the hard tyres and then if the rain comes... It's only 6 seconds slower than the medium to hard tyre. I'm going to do that. If the rain comes we might be in good position for it, we might not be. Um, but it's got to be worth a shot so I'm going to do it. If the leading four drivers are going to do it, then it's got to be worth an effort. Okay, how was that pull away? You'll have a bit more grip on that at the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as 
Hmm. Yeah, I am struggling uh, around this track, I've got to be honest. It's not... It hasn't been easy. I mean, when I played this on the wheel last time in F120, I found it to be quite easy to gel with, but I'm finding it a lot more difficult um, on, in F122, and I'm not 100% as to why, to be honest. <sighs> that was my fault. Trust me to press the wrong one. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> That's supposed to be when we started the race. <laughs> Engineer quiet. Engineer quiet? Ah, of course you didn't. Oh, come on! <laughs> Engineer quiet! Yay! And he took a week to try and sort that out. Well, yeah, one of the corners that I am struggling with a lot compared to the AI is actually this hairpin that we're coming into. I'm not getting the car rotated at all well. Um, I just can't get the, I just genuinely cannot get the car turned in um, at the right angle. So I'm struggling through there, and I'm struggling with the in the middle sector actually the the two corners before the hairpin. Uh, the, the flick right, flick left. Uh, I'm struggling there because of track limits. I'm struggling with track limits in general. So I imagine there could be a few penalties, but I'm hoping that this strategy works. You know, potential rain coming. I won't get off the line at all well, but then again, I don't really care about that too much. So let's, um, let's hope. That was a launch, as expected of the hards. And that was a dive bomb, as expected by an idiot. What a start, we're not even into the first corner and I bottled it already. Do you know what, I'm not going to try and dive it. I am actually, what am I talking about? Do you know what, if I could stop Stroll, actually, that'd be quite a good one. The rest of the field just fighting their way through. Loads of fights going on in front of me. The one's a bit slow. How have I got side pod damage if I've hit the back of him? Explain. You'd think, after doing the mistake once, I wouldn't do it again. But unfortunately, you're watching an absolute moron. Come on, Gasly, just... I, you know, I exist there. Like, you'd think, right, I'm alongside him, you'd think, yeah, I'll give him some room. No. Of course he doesn't. And then I just spin it all over the curb like an idiot. Let's just try and settle into a rhythm. Stroll's actually got past his teammate. I'd love to say that I intended to make that overtake, but that wasn't the plan. Don't know how this is going to go. There's a bit of a delay in front of us as well. Magnuson's in the pits, so something's gone on there. I've got a warning for that. Trying to avoid a, a wild Alpha Tari that's actually just barging through, trying to barge up the inside of me. Yeah, I'm going to squeeze you off, mate. Because you're acting like an utter tit. another warning. 
I'm going to have a lot of warnings, I think, today. How? How? Where's the logic in that? I'm actually going to flash back from here. Gasly's quicker than me, so there's not really much I can do here. Whoa. And there she goes again. That's the corner that I'm struggling with the most in the whole track. I might not be getting the hairpin right, but I've just hit the wall. Well, how many flashbacks is that in the first two laps? Seven? Come on, Gasly, get a move on. You're going to overtake me, don't be so slow. No? Okay, fine, I'll do it this way. Squeeze them as much as I can. Ah, oh, I was just literally about to say, now I'm going to concentrate. And as I do that, I go and spin off into the bloody wall. <laughs> Absolute melons. I don't know who's commenting, but I can't see your comments, unfortunately, at the minute. Try and look at them in a minute when I get a chance. Hi Jack, thanks for commenting. Um, I've got a couple of co-op career modes on the go already at the moment, buddy, unfortunately, so I have to politely decline. But if I finish one of them, I'll let you know. But it sounds like it could be quite fun. And you're probably more competent than I am. I'm trying to avoid contact with Gasly. Come on, game. Come on, Gasly. Come on, play ball. This isn't. This isn't funny now. Oh, come on, Pierre. Thought we were friends. Four seconds behind because of this nonsense. And the thing is, is like I'd let him go if he just got lost. Like if he if he overtook me properly. Here he comes again. I think, and he's taking a week. Oh, you know what, I'm going to let them two crash into each other now. Oh, wow. Stroll... <laughs> Whoa! 
sorry about all that. Oh, Gasly. You're watching the greatest ever fight for 15th place. With flashbacks included, obviously. Ah, oh, come off it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this game. Just let me be. Please. And at eight, at nearly nine, as make, near as makes no difference, nine seconds behind Schumacher. And that is, that's not going to help my strategy. My strategy was to try and make a one-stop work. Hopefully the rain comes in and I can beat everybody out. But that is... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I hate my day today. Really having a bad time. But my strategy was to just try and stay close to the medium tyre runners, even if it's by a few seconds. Now, they're probably going to gap me by a second a lap, and I won't be able to make that difference up because of a pit stop. Because the pit stop here is... I've just overcorrected for something that I didn't need to overcorrect. That's... <sighs> Not my day. Really having a bad day today. But if they're going a second lap quicker, by the time that they come into the pits, which is going to be about lap 16, which is 10 laps from now, they'll come out in front of me. So, the only people I'll actually gain any time on is the cars behind me at the minute. What we'd call a bad corner. <laughs> and the gap is now 10 seconds to Schumacher. So all that fighting at the start, as fun as it was, has completely cost me. Oh, how is that a penalty? Come on. Not gaining any time from that. And yet that isn't a penalty. I don't, that, that I don't get. You can cut the inside curve, but not the... Uh. Trying 
trying to think how many laps. I think it was 16 laps, and then the a, the medium tyre runners are due to pit. So, I mean, it'll get me onto the back of them if it rains. That lot are having an unbelievable fight now behind me. I'm now four and a half seconds clear of that lot, and Magnuson's joined the back of that group. Really struggling through that corner. Gone. Like silly bang, I'm gone. Bang, and the jack is gone. Shame to the wall. <sighs> Me and hard tyres aren't getting along in this game. Now Stroll's obviously going to... Well, I was going to say, Stroll's going to catch me like a train, but he's on the sock, so... He's going to fall back by some length. Oh my god, I've just done a Nick Heifeld and flew off the track. Oy, 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 oy. In the car now that well, I was going to say the four cars behind me have sorted themselves out, but they're running toe to toe, so they probably won't. But if they were in clear air, as I decide to do my best Tokyo Drift impression coming out of the airpin, this has cost me about seven tenths. Um, they'd be catching me by about a second a lap, I reckon. See, I don't get it. You can cut the, the the right curb. You can cut that as much as you want, pretty much. But you can't cut the left curb, which I find baffling. Look how much curb I took through there. That's like, yeah, it's fine. I won't do that from now on. to go off, I wonder. Oh, come on! You get the line wrong and you still get punished for it in terms of a penalty. This game's got a very strange... I know I'm on strict penalties, so... Of course I'm going to be tripping the... the warnings a lot more, but... It's got a very strange system at times. Sometimes it's brilliant and it's spot on, and other times it's just terribly wrong. Speaking of terribly wrong, that line was. I don't know how I got away with it.
couple of twitches through the corners, but that's all right. That's not going to do my rear tyres any good spinning up out of the hairpin like that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, that is rain. On the front of my car, as I cut the corner like a mongoloid, so you can't see the rain now. Thanks for that one, Jack. But there is rain on the car. Now that's a problem, because I was hoping it would come a little bit later. Weather report. Well, I figured that one, Mark. Thanks, mate. But what's the weather doing? Is it going to get wetter? Is it going to not get wetter? What's it doing? I didn't even talk. Thanks. Don't give me any information about whether it's going to keep getting wetter or anything. I mean, it will, but I just need to know a little bit more detail. That would have been nice. Anyways. I'm going to have so many flashbacks. This, I might as well just title this episode when I upload it to YouTube. Canada, the flashback of dreams. Tried saving it, that was a tank slapper. Ah, oh, what a what a what a brilliant display of incompetence I'm showing. And the medium tires are pulling away from me. Which is problematic. whilst it was dry I was actually matching their pace obviously the medium tyres are now past their sell by date but the problem is is that I've got to work a lot harder than they have to keep my tyres in the temperature range and my rear tyre my rear left tyre in particular rear right tyre sorry it's looking a little bit cooler than what I'd want it to be Vettel's catching me as well That was a lazy spin. That. That's just. That, so I was going to. I was going to make an excuse, but to be honest with you, it's just incompetence all round. <laughs> oh, just. I wish I'd turn bloody track limits off for this one. No, I'm trying to stay on the... This is what I don't get about F1. Maybe something that the game... Oh, God. I flashbacked in the wrong place, so... 
but this is maybe something the game can well, code masters should think about is when it's wet weather the track limit should be a little bit more lean like in certain areas of the track because people are going to skate off the road like, well I say people I mean me just yet. My times are now getting a lot slower. That corner is getting a little bit Closer to not being flat, as in flat out. So Mark's saying it's going to dry up. Oh, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? That was a, another rookie error for me. I'm on the curb, and I've just put the. I've just gone. Yeah, I'll put the power down now. But dry. It says it's going to clear up in 10 minutes so I might as well just keep pounding round as best I can <sighs> or sliding miserably off the track which one do you want to call it today but the same thing oh that's a bit of a wheel spin out of the hairpin Vettel is on a friggin mission right now he's now 2.3 behind me he's dragging Nicky along with him Vettel's always been good in wet weather conditions but I am falling I am dropping like a stone What I did notice before as well is that the McLarens have a really quick car, evidently, but they're stuck behind one of the Alpines. Come on, I'm losing time through there! How? Oh, come on! But, um, yeah, they, they, the McLarens are stuck behind this Alpine. Whoa! That, as I said before, what did I say last lap? That corner is no longer looking like it's flat. And what did I do? Forget my own advice and went flat through it. Interesting. Says lap 17. I, I think this lap. I think I, because I've just seen a couple of cars go into the pits. And yeah, I thought I saw Red Bull and Ferrari going. I'm going in this lap. Well, the hard tyre strategy was not advantageous at all. Um, so, Nicholas is coming in for his stop now. Well, he's just going to have to wait, isn't he? I'm in front of him. He can wait. <laughs> We've stopped Battle from getting out as well. I think it's too wet. It's 
too wet for the dry tyres now at this point. That's why I came into the bits, because I just thought... Yeah, I'm, I'm gaining on Bottas and Schumacher despite my crummy exit. How is that a penalty? Explain that to me. Honestly. <laughs> so I pulled a bit of I pulled a bit of time back on Bottas and Schumacher. I don't think anything else is going to happen for me in this race apart from Vettel catching me. I'm not gaining any time, I'm not gaining any time, what was the point of that penalty? It's bloody wet weather conditions. Bottas had to get double stacked behind Guan Yu, so he's lost a boatload of time. DRS has only just been disabled. Bit of an interesting one from race control, but I'm only getting paid to race, so it doesn't matter. Battle is going to be on me in but a moment. I went in too deep into the corner. Me and the chicane aren't friends. I'm not very good in the wet conditions in F1 2022, nor am I good in wet conditions on MotoGP 22 either. It used to be that I was, many moons ago, very good in the wet conditions, but I've regressed badly. Ah, oh, I've just hit the wall on me flashback, kind of hit the wrong button. Gap is now 10 seconds to Bottas, so I've lost a truckload of time. I think this strategy was doomed, wasn't it? If I'd have started on the mediums, I think I'd have had a better chance of doing something. I don't really know what I would have done, but... Oh. 
Fuck you. Ay, 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 ay. It's all going wrong. Not that it went right to begin with. Hey, yeah, yeah. Play this one for free, Mark. Okay, the race engineer. It's definitely faster on inters. If you think we're on the crossover, you're mad. I'm not getting penalties for stupid things like that. Cause it's the wet weather. They didn't penalise Lando Norris at Belgium last year, did they, when he was climbing all over the curbs? No! Of course they didn't! Mind you, Lando Norris did end up having a big shunt like that, so... I forgot we are in wet weather and decided to take it flat out again. In the gear where you're accelerating still. To me, at the minute, it looks like there's a bit more of a dry line appearing on the track. In the in sort of the slower corners, I'm just sort of spotting little patches where it's just a just a tiny bit dry, just enough for me to hit the wall as I go underneath the bridge for the fiftieth time. But I am seeing these little. What's slightly more disturbing is the fact that I've made less mistakes on the intermediate tyres than I did on the hards. It's 
just kind of shows you how badly I'm struggling on the hard tyres in this game at the minute. Yeah. DRS have been re-enabled, which I think is maddening, especially through here. Sorry Vettel, but I weren't letting you through and you decided you didn't want me to go in front of you, so that's why that happened. Gonna have to give him room this time. I was literally about to say I'm going to go on to the dry compound tyre, I just don't know which one to go on as I lost it midway through um, turn 5. Going to the hard compound tyres, that's an interesting choice. I decided to forget where to forget how to brake in the second part of that then. That's better. There's a yellow flag. what the yellow flag was for but it's gone now. Nice! Don't do a Sonoda. I didn't do a Sonoda. But one problem I've got compared to the AI is that they are so good at warming their tyres up compared to, compared to me. What they're also very good at actually is, is not getting track penalties like me. But they are very good at getting their tyres warmed up. Now they all have to go, I've just realised, they all have to go to the hard tyre because they ran the medium at the start of the, at the race, whereas I didn't. 
Hopefully, once I get these tyres up to temperature, I'll be able to pull away from the hill. Someone's retiring. I don't know who it is, but they've caused the traffic jam. Looks like Stroll, I think, actually. Oh, oh safety car. Well, well, well. What This has changed the entire complexion of the race. So, who... Ooh. Stroll is facing... Well, that's a very weird... Have we got a external... Yeah, he's facing... Oh, I know what's going to happen. So, they've slowed down to avoiding. Hamilton's tried to go around the outside thinking he's genius and smashes into him. Wow. Well, this has just turned the whole race upside down. Hamilton crashes into the back. Let's see what Sainz does. He stops. And, oh no, the AI have started doing that. Right, that's going to be an absolute mess. Um. Okay, we can't take you right now. It's next lap. Next lap. Well. Okay, we can take you this lap. They're all going to be on the hard compound tire. Why not try and go on the softs? And it's telling me just to try and catch the safety car key, which is perfect. I don't know what happened to Stroll and why he was facing that way, but... Yeah, bolt on the softs. That's the best strategy. I'm going to lose track position, but I'm going to be on two compounds lighter and I get to attack all the way to the end of the race. Yes, got it stopped in time. Got to make sure I don't get... No, I won't get lapped. I'm far enough ahead of the train. Vettel's come into the pits, so he's gone on to soft. Gasly's on the softs, Magnussen's on the mediums. I have to deal with that lot first then. Ooh. Now the problem I do have is trying to catch this safety car, because he's... I'm coming through turn two and the safety car is just coming onto the... the main straight. Don't give me a time penalty whilst I'm under safety car! Come on! Again, mongoloid. The problem is with Canada is this track is full of straights, so it's not going to be. Hmm. Let's see if this gamble pays off. I'm halfway round the track, and they're coming through turn two. I've got another lap after this one. To be, uh, I have to be so quick. going into the hairpin so we've got another lap to try and catch this safety car one problem that I'm finding is that I'm catching Latifi at the minute who's put a new set of tyres on I don't know what he's on I'm assuming it's hard but it's got Magnussen and Gasly stuck behind him because obviously we're on safety car so we can't catch anyone 
so they can't overtake anyone I should say going into turn two and I'm coming down the back straight using all of the tools available to me my time where I've just done my best lap under the safety car I'm sure the stewards will be pleased about that one all right they're coming towards sector two now Oh, this is going to be close for me. Don't give me a penalty whilst I'm under safety car. Come off it. It's just... Yeah. One of weird thing. Okay, we're going to catch the safety car, that won't be a problem, just take it easy. Safety car in this lap maintains speed. There they are. Vettel, it's going to be close for Vettel, he should make it. Or has he been limited to doing one speed? Because if he has, that's kind of tight on him, but... I don't care. Oh, we're already racing. Right, six laps to try and... I can't overtake. That's so frustrating. Why is that a penalty when I wasn't giving me one all bloody race? <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, Gasly, what are you doing? <sighs> that was just my fault. Oh, Gasly, buzz off. No when you're beaten. Damn it, why do I keep getting penalties into the bloody chicane? I know why, it's because I'm trying. Coming through. If I get points, this is going to be the least deserved points I've ever scored in my life. Try and give Latifi slipstream. Don't try and overtake me, Nikki. That's why I had to do that. Giving me penalties through there. I don't know why I start. I don't know why I start singing that in the sort of opening credits for Game of Thrones. But never mind. 
Maybe that's how I bully all the drivers and get past them. Dun 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 dun. What the flying fajita are you doing? Mick. DLRS train's going to start on the next lap, so I need to... Hello! 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 Oh, what on, you actually got terrified by me coming up here inside! I did all the good stuff and then pulled it on the exact! <laughs> there you go, Ock on, enjoy the wall. Also, I didn't get anything for you for Christmas. No! <laughs> what is that? Rubbish, actually, that's what that is. That's what that was. Just, just explained it in a nutshell. Just described how I am as an F1 driver, to be honest. Is it doing that? Why, 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 why? I'm on the soft compound tire, I'm not on the bloody curb. Everything was good, it lights up and goes. I'm not even I'm not I'm in a straight line. I'm in a straight line for crying out loud. I've done it again! I can't do that corner. I've spent so many years not playing with strict track limits that my natural instinct is to turn in early to that corner to cut it. And he's going to have DRS so I can't get away from him at the minute. That's not a Penalty! Actually, it is. <laughs> I start league ne racing next week. I'm new league racing season starts next week, and I'm going to be absolutely tripe. Is I can't get away from Joe, he needs to buzz off. And I can't catch Ricardo and Snowden because they've got the DRS train going, so I'm stuck. Giving me a penalty, just just steward look the wrong way for once. How? How has that come there? I'm trying to make, I'm really pushing because I want to catch Ricardo if I can, but I can't because I'm just not close enough. Oh no, 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 no. I 
I get the gap down to 1.4, but I can't do anything. And then there's three DRS zones. I, I'm just in an infinite spiral of catching up in the middle sector, in the fir first the middle sector, and then that's it done. I'm so close. Two laps to go. That's not... Well, it is, but I actually bottled the next entry for that corner, so shouldn't have been. Yellow flag. That's not a penalty. Why, oh why, MCA. So Leclerc's got a blown engine, and they're going to be dead slow for it. So just take your time, Jack. Wait for the damage. And then Leclerc pulls right in the middle of your path. I'll do. What? I followed Ricardo's line, and he's the one that I don't get a. He, right, shut up, Jack. Let's get him on. See you, mate. Oh, Ricardo's got properly broken from him. Sonoda's just going to be outside of the RS. Oh, he's going to pull away from me. I've got no ERS to you. Oh, I got it. I'll come in handy. But Sonoda's got ERS to use. I'm not going to pull that gap back. In fact, I've not pulled it back at all. Push, 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 push. Stop giving me a effing penalty for that. God. Actually, you know what would be the better advice? Jack, stop cutting the corner. Oh, come on! There's no tyre where that's that bad! <laughs> come on! Work with me! Penalty again. Got the line right, and then got the second corner wrong. No, do you know what? I, what I found is I can't do it in flashback. <laughs> Literally, I've just I've just done it twice. And they lost it again. Then oh, you why the bar? Making all sorts of noises now. I just don't think I'm going to catch Sonoda, despite how many cheats I'm trying. Ah, uh, and despite the game's best efforts to tell me now that the soft tyres have gone to jelly. No! Where's the grip? The grip's gone. The grip... Why? Sonoda was really slow off the exit, but I can't do anything about it. I'm not going to catch him. I can't. 
can't do anything. Ah, oh, I can't believe I'm not going to catch him. Done. You lucky little tiny friggin' pain in the ass. <laughs> oh. oh, Paris one at least. Breaking. I was right behind Snowden when the clerk had his failure. I just couldn't get close enough to him. I don't deserve driver of the day at all. In fact, in fact, to be honest with you, this is the least deserved result I've ever had in this career mode because the amount of flashbacks I had to use in that race was was to be honest with you terrible um really terrible i think a large part of the result comes down to well pair is one at least so there's always a positive there and that has allowed them to get the best out of the car to maximize the strategy boom Well, fair play to Perez. Won the race. Doesn't look like he had any issues. I want to know what happened to Stroll, though. That's something I'm going to have a look at on the, flat, on the replay. So George Russell has finished third in that because of the chaos that went on with Stroll. I'm now level 29. And after this round of the World Championship, um, here's how things look in the driver's table. That's a positive result for George Russell, who further solidifies his position. Oh, Russell finished second. So then, Natalie Pinkham, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Ace. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt well, maximised their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. Red Bull pull further ahead. Well, you know, I'm 12th in the standings. Not that I deserved it. Push themselves further up the order. Good work from Aston Martin. They've not scored any points. Be sure to join us again. What, what, what do you mean they've moved further up the order? Alphatari scored a point, so they've jumped. Well, Sonoda jumped in front of me, so not ideal. Haas haven't scored any points for a while. Let's have a look at these. I'm going to watch the highlights first. If I'd have known the. I should have just gone with the mediums. If I'd have gone with the mediums, that could have been a very different race. But it wasn't to be, and that's um, categorically annoying. I didn't need to start on the hards. The rain came earlier than expected. Oh well. But, you know, the start was simple enough. Bombed one up the inside of Vettel after a couple of flashbacks. Up to 17th. One up the inside of Gasly. Got a warning for that. Gasly was deciding to lock wheels with me. Well, I say I could have given him a bit more room, to be fair. And then this shenanigans that were going on down here. I was desperately trying to not spin the car.
Oh, Vettel hit the back of me. Under safety. Well, that's not my fault. Lap 30. Big wiggle. I didn't think I'd struggle this much with, with Canada, but... I didn't... I, honestly, I didn't intend to make a double overtake. It just happened. I could have be honest. But... Hmm... I think the tyres were just going off on lap 33. I think because I had to push so hard to catch up to the safety car that obviously the tyres wore out. It's just unlucky. Put Esteban in the wall. Oh, big time, I put him in the wall. And then finished in the least deserving eighth place I think I've ever had. Um, right. So, so what happened was. Um, what happened with Stroll then? Just a sort of weird transition to wets. So this was the lap it happened. At his home Grand Prix. Coming down to the hairpin. Must be next lap then. So the yeah, there's no more lap sorry, so it's on this lap so he's pitted for the hard tires. Magnuson's not close enough to the back of him. I don't think he, although Magnussen was gaining heaps of time. Down into the hairpin. Oh! And just spins. And he's trying to revert. And then he reverses backwards. Perez stops, avoids it. Leclerc stops, avoids it. But then stops completely to try. And then Leti. Oh, and then. Stroll tries to reverse backwards and Hamilton just ploughs into him. George the Chad Russell just ghosts through everybody. And then says, thanks mate, and takes all the positions. Oh, so Leclerc just, so Leclerc just fell backwards. So he got stuck behind all that. Didn't know what to do. And then he obviously had his engine failure. So he's stuck behind that. He's fighting side by side of Alonso. He goes up to the inside of Norris. This is a great fighting. Norris keeps the place. At 33, which I think is when his engine goes. No, it's like 34. So he's right on the back of Alonso. Pushing hard. And then... Boom goes the dynamite. And we're on the wrong camera. To see this. Because I want to see it from a different angle. Watch it from Ricardo's point of view. So, Sonoda avoids it quite easily. And then Leclerc. Oh, it's just stupid. I and mean, obviously, Ricardo's got no front wing, so he can't stop the car. That's pushed me way through, and that's it. Crazy. Um, oh, look how close Latifi was to getting points. Ah, oh, heartbreaking. That's the second 11th place he's had this season. 
Schumacher did score points though, but Haas weren't quick this weekend. I don't think they they had the race pace. In fact, the Alpha Tauris looked better on race pace than anybody else. I wouldn't have scored points, I don't think. I would have scored maybe one point at most had it not been for Leclerc and Hamilton. Well, in fact, if I hadn't have been for the safety car, I wouldn't have done anything. It would have been a miserable race to 15th place. Or, or a fight with Vettel. Actually, no, he broke his front wings. It wouldn't have been. But, uh, yeah, I've got more driver acclaim for something I didn't deserve. <laughs> But, you know, it's positive. It's points. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We've got 10 days now. Um, before anything, before the next race, which is at Silverstone. So let's have a look at the R and D. Anything that we can do? Yeah, it says chassis-wise we can upgrade weight distribution. It's quite a decent upgrade. Comes after the British Grand Prix, so ready for Austria. So that's okay. I don't think I can get anything else. So 641 uh, development points. So let's advance time. Hopefully we get an event in the middle of all that. We okay. didn't, but we got our gearbox. Got our weekly resources. So that should give us some more development points to go on the crankshaft, which would give us a better engine than Mercedes, who are our supplier. That's controversial. Let's put it on. And then let's skip along. You're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think carefully. Who I don't really care about rivalry. You receive a claim for beating them. You'll lose a claim if you fail to do so. I like how my manager no longer has a face. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Feel free to give me a follow if you like the content. If you don't, then I get it. Um, but in any case, I'll be doing another stream in a day or two, potentially, hopefully, for the British Grand Prix. Hopefully, it'll go a lot better than what's just gone on today at Canada uh, in terms of ability and competence. But in any case, thanks very much for watching. Whoever you might be in a big wide world, have a good one, and see you soon.